Toi, de un. What is up, people? Theo to the Future here, back for another movie reaction. Today we're gonna to be watching Amelie, which is, I don't know much about this movie. I know that it is French. I know that it came out in 2001, which to me is a pretty good time for movies still. And I know that it's a romantic comedy. I like romantic comedies. I'm not the biggest romantic comedy buff. I used to be, maybe. I could think of The Wedding Singer and uh, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. I love that movie. That's like one of my top movies all time, really. I'd say maybe like top 20, maybe. What, ugh, what's the girl's name? And the guy, that real cool guy who was in uh, Dazed and Confused. <laughs> what is his name? Oh, I gotta figure it out. Oh, it's gotta be Matthew McConaughey. It's gotta be Matthew McConaughey. And I'm thinking Kate, Kate Hudson. Oh, what a great movie. That's such a good movie. Anyway, I do like my romantic comedies. This is actually my second attempt trying to watch this. I was trying to find a good version, but I could not. The subtitles were just like so off that I was like, oh, what is going on? So I rented it off of YouTube and I did see the first like four minutes. So I do know what is coming up in the first four minutes. As for the rest, I don't know. But what I can tell you is that from what I saw, I just think there's a lot of potential in this movie. I think I'm I'm gonna like it. It looks cool. And the 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 mom, I think it's a mom. She was making me laugh a little bit. So anyway, uh I'm gonna get started. I just forgot to do one thing. I gotta go and take this picture for a thumbnail of a Fortnite video I'm doing. Give me a moment. Okay, I'm back. I am back. That's done. I grabbed some food as well. Sorry. I just, you know, I'm hungry. It's It's been a long day. <laughs> so here we go. I'm Lee. I'm so ready. Let's do it. Yeah, this is just some chili with rice, a bit of pulled chicken on top, dobbed a little mayo on there. Woo. I heard this and I was like, yo, the music in this is sick. And then I realized that it was just for this logo and I was like, all right, that's cool. But that piano, mm. But then they came in with this, which is very beautiful too. So the music in this movie was already getting me. I was saying that this looks beautiful, like a painting. And that I think I'm gonna have to pay very close attention to this movie. Look at the window, the background. So sick. Trying to understand. I'm trying to pay attention. This part with all the child games. I was reminiscing about my old childhood. What little games I used to play. Never did this one. I'm gonna call out the ones I never did. I never did this one. There was one other one I didn't do. Okay, I never did this one either. I never had thick glasses like that. Holy smokes. I like how they add the uh, wine of the wine glass. <laughs> the wine of the wine glass in that part. This one. I was like, yo, this is cool. <laughs> and I was also saying how it's very cinematic. Here we go. Here we go. Surprend sur ses sandales un regard de dédain. Sortir de l'eau et son et tout ranger. Enfin. So he's a little neurotic. This woman. <laughs> this woman, yo. Amandine Poulain and Emma. Effleuré de la main. Her eye, bro. Avoir les piles draps imprimés sur la joue le matin. Vidé son sac à main. Bien le nettoyer. Yo, are they married? Et tout ranger. Because they should get along really well. Or fight a lot. Amélie Ationnel ne peut empêcher son cœur de battre la chamade. 
Dès lors, son père la croit victime d'une anomalie cardiaque. Oh, really? À cause de cette maladie fictive, la petite wow. fille n'est pas à l'école. C'est sa mère qui lui tient lieu de... Tout va très bien. Tout va court. Non Privé du contact <rire> des autres enfants, ballotté entre la fébrilité de sa mère et la distance glaciale de son père, Amélie n'a de refus right. dans le monde qu'elle invente. Elle appelle le cachalot. Malheureusement, l'ambiance familiale a rendu le poisson rouge neurasthénique et suicidaire. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, man. Are you serious? Les tentatives de suicide du cachalot ne faisant que That fish is uh Was that multiple attempts or one attempt? Super fish, bro. That fish is Got superpowers. Damn, that is some nice filming, man. Or oh, like nice imagery. She just littered. <laughs> Sorry, I pour lui faire croire que son appareil a un défaut, il déclenche des accidents. Oh man. Chez tout l'après-midi, un doute affreux la salle le soir venu. Oui. Elle s'effondre devant la télé. À la responsabilité d'un gigantesque incendie. De deux déraillements. Oh my et du crash. gosh. 47. How is her timing so good? She can see it. Hélas, ce n'est pas un nouveau né qui tombe du ciel, mais une touriste québécoise, Marguerite Bouchard, résolue en finir avec la vie. No way. Holy crap. Après la mort de sa mère, Amélie se retrouve en tête à tête. That sucks. I was looking forward to more of the mom. She seemed kind of funny. Nous sommes le 29 août. Dans 48 heures. Le destin d'Amélie Poulain va basculer. There she is. What the heck is gonna happen? Pour elle, sa grand-mère était guérisseuse. Ce qu'elle aime, c'est faire craquer les os. Oh, dad. Qui sait qu'elle framboise à Hippolyto, les crèmes à l'espionner pour voir s'il a un remplaçant. La seule chose que celui-là aime, c'est crever les pustules des emballages en plastique. Et enfin, voilà Philomène, l'hôtesse de l'aillage. Philomène aime le bruit du bol d'eau sur le carlin. Rodrick, quant à lui, aime être présent quand on raconte des histoires autres. Pour voyager, t'as jamais quitté en gain. Quand on était jeune avec ta mère, on aurait bien voyagé, mais on ne pouvait pas. Cause of your heart. Wow, bro. Nice, dude. Maintenant, Amélie va au cinéma. J'aime bien me retourner dans le noir et contempler le visage des autres. Non! That, that's pretty out of the box. She's so quirky. Amélie n'a pas d'homme dans sa vie. Elle a bien essayé une fois ou deux, mais le résultat n'a pas été à la hauteur de ses espérances. Is she trying not to laugh, bro? En revanche, elle cultive un goût particulier. Briser la croûte des crèmes brûlées avec la pointe de la petite cuillère. <laughs> it's those little things. Sur those little Saint things. You know what? Amélie seems like a cool girl so far. She seems pretty cool. She's respectful. She's not spying. Okay, hold on a second. Maybe she is. Okay, she got a telescope. C'est l'homme de verre. À cause d'une maladie congénitale, c'est sous ses yeux. Combien de couples, par exemple, sont-ils en train d'avoir un orgasme à cet instant précis? That's a lot. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Did she just count that? Like, did that just happen? Is she guessing? Did she just hear that? She's, she's obviously got some freak in her if she's thinking about that, right? She's obviously got some thoughts. I'm like really confused as to where this movie is gonna go. Is it like a fantasy movie? 
it gives me like big fish vibes. Like, is there magic involved here, or is this? Et la piste du propriétaire de la boîte aux souvenirs et lui restituer son trésor. Si ça le touche, c'est décidé. Elle commence à se mêler de la vie des autres. Sinon, tant pis. Nice. Mission. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh. As, a, as an introvert, it's like, ah. Oh gosh. Can I just leave? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, dang. Oh my gosh. Oh, buddy. So awkward. <laughs> Vous aviez écrit des lettres comme ça, mademoiselle Non. Je suis la belette de personne. <rire> Moi, je m'appelle Madeleine Wallace. On lasse. C'est vous dire si j'étais prédestinée aux larmes. Hmm. Ok, this lady seems really sad. Oui, pour votre affaire. Allez voir l'épicier, Collignon. Vous êtes toujours habitué. Look at that. It's like a video game where you go ah, bonjour, la and if you talk to the person, Alors, they help you. Imagine she just walked out, she would have never got that information. Le crétin, c'est Lucien. C'est vrai que Lucien n'est peut-être pas un génie, mais Amélie l'aime bien. Elle aime sa façon délicate de saisir les endives, comme si c'était des objets précieux qu'il devait manipuler avec respect. C'est sa manière à lui de manifester son amour du travail bien fait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they could get along. It looks like they could be a nice match. Camus, Camus, oh, brother. Oh, lordy. Ce garçon qui farfouche sur le photomaton s'appelle Nino Quincampoix. This guy lost a fish. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. Souvent, on met un instant à 9 km. Quand ta mère le supportait pas, il était rangé dans la cabane empty. Voilà. On va les réconcilier. Et voilà. <laughs> Pas mal. Hein? Let's reconcile them. Il faudra que je le revernisse avant l'automne. I love the weather in this scene. Tu en veux On respire là, on ne bouge plus. Oh lord. This woman. Ah oh, I couldn't take it. Midi 15, rire de gorge évoquant l'orgasme. Motif plaire au mal dominant. Oh, what? Continue à m'emmerder, moi je suis Oh my gosh. Pourquoi il insiste? Il y a des ministres tous les 20 mètres dans le quartier. Weird, bro. And everyone's cool with it, though. Oui, dans les ans de mi-prod auto. Already? She accomplished her mission. Vous êtes Dominique. Is she like disappointed by the way he looks? Oui. La pétition. Bonjour mon chaton. Mm. Earl Grey, bergamot, jasmin. Vous prendrez bien quelque chose. Tu travailles. <laughs> What? <laughs> What's that? That was so awkward. That was so awkward, bro. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I gotta go. <laughs> oh gosh. No way. Bretodo. <laughs> Abredoto. Oh my gosh. Vous, vous avez besoin d'un petit. Mais venez. 
Is this is this her apartment? Another quirky, another quirky person. Oh, this is the guy she spied on painting. <laughs> oh, some people's minds are like so creative and visual. And their imaginations are just so, uh, you know, high tier. <laughs> what, is, what is going on? <laughs> Her reactions are great. Would you answer this? I don't think I would answer this. I think I'd mind my own business. That's just me, though. I think it depends on how I'm feeling. Am I feeling adventurous today? Maybe I will answer this phone. Then you get a telephone booth situation like that movie. Oh. Look at this girl using like high skill detective stuff. I guess his, he was the only. Bertodo. I'm sorry, I don't know how to. Like she knows for sure it's him. That would be wild. Oh my gosh. Damn. Les combinaisons de la tante Josette. Et surtout, cette journée tragique. Retondo! Oh man, leave them. Leave them! Oh, they keep falling out. That guy needs a new whistle. La pince, Retondo. Retondo, il la connaît, la pince. Oh. <laughs> that sucks. That would be an insane moment, man. I'd probably cry too if that happened to me. Like, where did this box come from, man? Il en face tout ce qu'il en reste c'était dans une petite boîte, petite boîte rouillée. Oh my gosh, he's getting uh, melodramatic about it. Ooh, wow. That's sweet. Oh, Amélie. <laughs> Non, et la vie lui paraît alors si simple et si limpide qu'un élan d'amour, comme un désir d'aider l'humanité entière, la submerge tout à coup. Hey, that's the one, that was one of the options. That was one of the outcomes. Celui du mari de la fleuriste. Il a des petites rides de malice au coin des yeux. Oh, dans la vitrine de la pâtisserie, il y a des sucettes qui ont Oh my gosh. Mm, vous sentez ce parfum Oh, il faut de la glace au calisson. That's sweet. Pour la charcuterie. 79 That's so nice. Guys, please don't crash. It's like she's taking him through a virtual reality ride at Disney World or something. Oh. <laughs> that was fun. That must have been so fun for him. I hope. Hopefully he wasn't scared. <laughs> Paris accablé de chagrin, des millions d'anonymes en deuil se pressent le long du corps. Is she imagining this? Et lui témoigne en silence. What is happening right now? I do, that's what I was thinking, like she wants to be Mother Teresa or something? What? Was she like meditating on her own death? Or something like that? Her own mortality? Trying to figure out what she wants to do with her life? Like, what's happening? She feels like she wants to break out of her shell or something? It's turned into a horror movie. <laughs> what?
What is this guy's deal? What is he looking for under there? Her heart is beating. Just go along with the ride, Theo. Just go along with the ride. I know you're confused. It's all gonna... It's all gonna make sense. That's his bike right there? His bike is parked right there? Or did he just steal someone's bike? Déchiré, rejeté, et qu'un hurlu berlu a minutieusement reconstitué et répertorié. This guy un album de famille. collects people's photos and makes okay, albums of them. Just une seconde. Huh? Really? S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. Ah, je peux plus. Mais j'y vais. Oh my gosh. What? Is she making this her mission now? To set them up? Oh my gosh. She's making it seem like she likes him. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Why is she doing this? Why is she taking this on as her mission? This seems a little bit, I don't know, weird to me. It's crossed the line from quirky to weird. Because why is she meddling in their affairs? Is she just trying to make them happy? Manipulating these people into liking each other? This reminds me of Clueless. When, uh, what's her name? I forget her name. I, I want to say Claire. But she set up her teacher. Her teachers. That's what this feels like to me. All of a sudden, she's so socially, like, smart. All of a sudden, she knows how to manipulate people and knows how to get what she wants from people. All of a sudden, she's so socially intelligent. Mm. I'm scared of being forgotten. So he's a ghost? <laughs> so she stole the garden gnome out of spite? Yo, there are all types of people in the world. Holy... Imagine my face is in someone's album somewhere, just like, I don't know, just there, like. Le seul employé, un crétin irresponsable. Monsieur Collignon, vous avez oublié vos clés. Oh, une minute, the weather in this, in this movie? The weather scenes? Like, look at this fog right here. That's sick. It makes me feel like it's on a set. And it's not on an actual street. She make copies of that key? Oh my gosh, this... Yo, what? Merci. I don't know how to feel about her anymore. Oh my gosh, it's working! Does he only have one hand? Whose place is this that she's sneaking into right now, man? What is she doing? She's cutting off one of this person's laces. She looked at the shoe size. It seems to be something with feet right now. Something with feet is going on right now. She switched his foot cream and toothpaste, which look oddly similar for some reason. I don't know. They're made by the same brand or something? That's a little weird. What is she doing? Why is she being evil? Why is she being... Like... Sneaky and weaselly and... Who's she getting back right now? I know when she was a kid, she got back... 
the neighbor who told her she caused the car crash. But who's she getting back right now? This is bad behavior. Amelie, I am disappointed. Don't talk you know. She works? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. She has the job at the place. Doesn't seem like she works, bro. She's out here doing all sorts of stuff. She sent him a picture of it? Did she really send it to Moscow or she just took a picture of it in a weird place? Yeah, I'm getting a feeling of like maybe she's two in her head. It was his house. It was his house. Oh my gosh. He didn't even really do anything to her per se. Did he? She just doesn't like him. So she pranked the heck out of him. Oh, he's tripping, man. That's only the first. <laughs> oh, and he's up too early. He's up way too early. <laughs> the alarm was the first thing. Oh. <laughs> That's why she cut his lace. What a trip. He's sleeping in the cauliflower. Oh my gosh, it's working, guys. It's actually working. They're in love. They're gonna date. They're gonna get jiggy with it. <laughs> I gotta get back to my table. See you later. <laughs> I don't know if this is a lost in translation thing. Maybe there's something I'm not understanding. I'm not sure. Is there something wrong with him? Is he not able to speak properly? Does he have pronunciation issues? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure what's happening there. Oh, is he gonna... Is he gonna paint it? Oh, I'm sorry, but that's dope. Oh my gosh. That was amazing. Okay, what? What? What the? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was a interesting uh, flirt method. This guy's got to cool off a bit. How is she such an artist? How is she such an artist of manipulation? Damn, hear that bass bumping? Someone's listening to some EDM music. Dude is going off! That is like, that sounds good. It sounds like they're having a really good time. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> that build up, you know, that build up plays a big role in it. There was a lot of tension there. My mom does that. She prays to St. Anthony to find stuff when she loses it. Et puis d'autres trucs du genre euh, des rires à un moment, dès qu'il entendait un rire un peu rigolo, paf, il l'enregistrait. 
<laughs> she collects rocks, she feels the seed. This is uh, this is so weird. That's hardcore, bro. That's hardcore. I've never seen anybody do that on a ride before. That's it. Now it's creepy. Not in a not in a spooky way, a creepy way. Uh I can't I'm having trouble telling what's real and what's uh not real in this movie sometimes. This is, a, this is another see? I don't... Is it... What? Okay, so... Amélie... Eh, eh, Nino? Is this guy's name Nino? They got like the same... Imagination issue going on. Amélie... She's a tactical genius. Look at this. She's a genius. She could be a spy. Look at this. Prepared arrows for him to follow. This is a way to spend your Saturday, huh? This is um This is exciting. Yeah, she put arrows on the road and on the side. Yeah, he's loving it. He's loving this. I can see how this would be fun, but I, I would just be so cautious. <laughs> I would just be like, looking around every corner, like, he's supposed to follow where the statue is pointing now? It's like this thing in uh, Tears of the Kingdom, Zelda game I'm playing. Gotta follow the statues. Monsieur, when the doigt montre le ciel, l'imbécile regarde le doigt. And then a kid comes out of nowhere, gives him advice. Did she plan that too? Dropping the Bruce Lee quotes? Looks like she did. I feel like she's had everybody in on this. Wow. That's hilarious. <laughs> You know she's watching you from somewhere now. Wow. Have has anybody ever experienced anything like this? Do you want to meet me? She was right there, bro. If you just use your eyes, you could have seen her. Oh my gosh, and she's... <laughs> How is she sending him those pictures? How is she getting those pictures of the gnome? Oh gosh. She's so happy. Hmm. This... <laughs> <sighs> Yowza! I mean, it did again. It sounded like they had a great time. So. Oh my gosh! Just a scriber. It's not that hard. Pas du tout. Monsieur prend des cours de dessin. Mais oui, toute la journée, Monsieur vend des poireaux et le soir, il dessine des navets. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. She's gonna get him again. Oh my gosh. 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 And she's back in his house. This girl is kind of evil. She's fighting evil with evil. I don't... I don't know. 
It is harmless pranks, and they are pretty funny. Just messing with his mental. Not hurting him or anything. Jeez, where does she get all these ideas? Someone's watching her. Oh, she got caught. What do you think about that old man? Is it evil or no? She's writing a fake letter to her? Or is she reading her letters? What's happening? What is she up to now? What are you doing? It looks like she's making something fake. He's painting the girl in the middle. Painting her with some devil horns because she's so mischievous. Mischievous. Giving her red hair. Is that correct? Oh my gosh, he has binoculars. And he's seeing the letter. Yo, what is... Oh, he's afraid to go into his apartment, bro. Oh, they're too small. She switched them so they're size too small. <laughs> yeah, these this prank is pretty smart. These pranks, they're pretty good. I think they are mean, but they're they're good. They're like hardly crossing the line. <laughs> Mother. He changed the lot. She changed the number. I didn't even notice that one. She's seen a ghost. Mettre la clé de l'énigme de l'inconnu des photomatos. Pour vous. Pour moi. Ah, she wrote a fake letter for her to make her happy. Right, right, right. Okay. What does it say, I wonder? Si tout se passe comme prévu, dans peu de temps, je gagnerai suffisamment bien ma vie pour acheter une maison. In the background, there's a bunch of different sounds waving by. What that? I wonder what that means. Que tu viendras me rejoindre un jour, un jour couleur d'orange. Ton Adrien qui t'a jamais tant aimé. There's children laughing. Then there's a church bell. Then there's a sound of static. Then there's street sounds. Like what does that signify? Well, I guess it it's working out. Her her mischievous antics are helping people in a way. Okay, why is she sending him these images? For inspiration? For his paintings? What in the... Run, Charlie, run. Very interesting imagery. Like things you will... This is like TikTok back in... I don't know what year this is, but this is like TikTok. The most random things coming up. Where is he now? <laughs> Cambodia. <laughs> Cambodia. <laughs> oh man. So, okay, cause she, Je ne comprends pas. she wants him to travel. No. Yeah, she wants him to travel, so she's taking a picture of his gnome traveling all over the place because he's stuck at home thinking about his wife. What is this guy doing now? Looking through garbage. Looking for clues. Obsessed now. Is that her belly? With the question mark on it? Did she take that picture? What a habit, bro. What a habit. Wow, she left it. She did leave a clue. She left a clue. Because she knew that he would look for one. They are meant for each other. Come on, dude. You can't tell that's her. She wasn't wearing like a... I don't know, mask. Well, not a big mask. You could tell her facial features. 
Oh my gosh, what is she doing? Are they? Oh my gosh, really? Is this all planned out? Looks like you. Yo, she's still playing games. Is she still playing games or is she really afraid to talk to him? Oh my. Oh, 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 this girl. Oh, exhausting. Wasting his time, big time. What a waste of time. Yeah, I'd say so. Oh, this big diss. Oh gosh, she's imagining herself in movies again. I guess, like, you know, uh, do I do that? I guess in a way. When I was younger, you know, you imagine yourself as characters in a movie. I guess I still do it in a way. You know, you imagine what how you would react to situations. Or you imagine that you have those strong attributes as the heroes, you know? Or the people that you link with, link up with, or relate to in the movies. I do it, I guess, I do that. What the hell's going on right now? He's interrogating this man? Is he trying to get him in trouble? She breaks the booth on purpose. She broke the booth on purpose. For her little schemes. Ah, he's just seeing the letter she wrote him now. He just takes the guy's picture. He just takes the dude's picture before he's even come out. Ah, so he's the guy that fixes the machine. So he always takes pictures to test it. <laughs> he just takes pictures to test it so they can see if it works. And then usually he'll just throw it out because, yeah, he does it all the time. That's pretty funny. This man has come to work twice in a week and just seen two weirdos smiling at him. I'd be like, I'd go back to work and I'd be like, I'm not going back to that photo booth. Something's off with that photo booth. Coward, go to him. Oh, he's gone. Oh, well, got to make another plan, make another scheme. Manifestation publique de conspiration féminine. Okay, so yeah. Oh, bah dis donc, Major, j'ai de la tête tendue. Tête tendue, tendue. This is falling apart. <sighs> what happened? Okay, dude's just not. <laughs> He's not all there. He's getting jealous of her. Okay, yeah, this guy's had problems from the beginning. I don't know what. He's. <sighs> They just let him stay in the store. It's quite, it's kind of wild. He came back from his trip around the world. Nice, sweet. This guy. Honestly. What a guy. What a guy. Yeah, I feel kind of bad for her. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> I 
<laughs> this guy just accepts that he's a failure. He's like, yeah, you're right there. I am a failure. Oh <laughs> God, this guy has issues as well. Same as your women. Yeah. Oh gosh. Oh brother, here you go. This is what your little games get you. Your little high school games. I feel the same way about uh, the women I like. <laughs> Not all of them, but a good lot. That, I don't know what that says about me. Mm. Running away. This girl's telling her story. She doesn't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's behind you. Her imagination is so strong that it's manifesting in real life. Oh, or maybe not. It's just your cat. <laughs> I'm sorry. But she's like becoming a cat lady, bro. Oh, it's okay, sweetheart. You can grow out of it. You just gotta be a little bit more brave. Amelie? Amelie? Mm, who is it? Is it him? Mm, it is Amelie. him. Oh my gosh, with the letter passing. Uh oh, is this guy gonna get her now? Is this guy is is that the old man? What was he cooking? What was he cooking? She went to he went to her apartment and set this up. Oh, voilà. Ma petite Amélie. What's he gonna do? Vous n'avez pas des non d'un chien. Are you serious right now? So he videotaped. The kid saying he had the keys for every apartment so he could go into her apartment and give her this message. That's pretty cool. The fact that she's about to run after him and he's right there. That was kind of a nice. That was a nice shot. A nice moment. These two have never met in their lives. Ah. Uh, uh. Is it just the... I mean, okay. This is all very sweet. But it's just so... <sighs> oh, I can't handle it. Oh my gosh, what the... Cat's like, you know, this is wild. <laughs> I've never seen this man in my life. Who is this person? <laughs> Cat, the cat's got stories, bro. You're hey. filming this? My face right now. My face. I kind of like that guy. I don't know why. My dude likes that piece of the thigh, eh? <laughs> he likes that, that piece of the chicken thigh. Is she still there? Is she gone? I don't... She... Is she... The girl in the middle. I don't know. Okay, the father's going traveling.
Okay. Alright. I mean, she did a great job. She was great. This guy, I don't know. I barely saw him. He was like, just... I don't know who he is. I'm just so... I... I just... I'm just so... Okay, that's that. Ame Lee. Ame Lee. Wow. Wow, that was something else. So at the end of these, I don't really like to give a movie a rating. I just kind of like say how it makes me feel. This movie... I got... Okay, I gotta tell you. When I saw the first four minutes on my first attempt to watch it, I was really hoping it was promising. It was setting up to be really funny for me. And I think that it was funny. But I think maybe that some parts were lost in translation for me, maybe? I've, I had to do a lot of reading, so it was hard to pay attention to both of the reading and the visuals. Which I feel like in this movie, the visuals play a good amount of the role in the comedy that they're trying to portray or put out. So I think I was having trouble keeping up in that sense. And maybe some jokes were lost in translation because uh, I guess maybe I'm more obviously used to Western comedies, romantic comedies. I think there were a lot of subtle things and nuances that I'm not sure where this is made. In France? I'm gonna assume it was made in France. That French, the French maybe have different subtleties in their comedy that didn't completely land for me. I felt that it was weird. You know, I liked her at first. I liked her quirky attitude. But then it started to get on my nerves because she's scheming all these schemes, meddling in people's lives without their permission. Sure, it worked out because of like plot armor and stuff like that, because it's supposed to work out. But I don't know <laughs> if it would be like that in real life. Like, uh, I don't know, the whole relationship that she got together with that dude who was a creep and he never changed. He remained a creep and that the smoker woman who always has something wrong with her, her sciatica and whatever and her rash. I felt kind of bad for her because Amelie set this kind of wacko guy up with her. I'm like, who knows what could have happened? Who knows what could have happened? Who knows what could have happened in that washroom? He was pretty aggressive. Luckily, she was into it at that point in time because the tension was so high. But, you know, what about the future? Yeah, and not to mention the future of that potential nightmare relationship, but the future of Amelie's relationship with Nino? Nino? What about that? They didn't even know each other, really. How did they even come to know each other? Was it in a dream? Did I catch that right? Did they grow up together? Was that something? I forget that moment where she ran into him at the photography booth and then she had some sort of weird memory. Ah, I don't know. But is that relationship gonna last? Because she is really quirky and so is he. And when those two quirks get together with their quirkiness, is that even gonna, is that gonna, is that gonna work? I don't know. I hope they enjoy their honeymoon phase though. There's that. But what I really did appreciate about this movie was the colors of it, the shots of it that look like paintings, the dynamic weather that they used in a lot of the scenes. I like the whimsical nature of it. I find that the more Western side of these romantic comedies, at least the ones I know, the comedy lays more in the physical comedy of the thing where people are like, I don't know, it's more slapstick. I don't know, you might, people might be getting hit by a car or making funny noises or, <laughs> or you know, it, the comedy is a lot more physical. This had a, a, a lot more of a fantastical, whimsical nature, and I dig, dug that about it. I think I might have liked more of this movie if I was fluent in French and could speak it without reading subtitles and I could get really into it. But I do think the logical side of my brain would have still been like, this is weird and, and, and uh, I don't know if this relationship is going to last. <laughs> the visual stylings of it and some of the characters were were very... I don't know, intriguing. The characters were really nice and defined and they had funny personalities. And there were some funny moments that I understood and could uh, could understand on a visceral level. The stupid moment where the she was talking about how the guy likes to record laughs. And then they played that woman laughing in the corner. I found that hilarious. All in all, I think it was okay. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning of this recording, how there are gonna be a lot of the movies on this list that I wouldn't necessarily pick out to watch for myself and this one was one of them like I would never really say oh man I want to watch that movie so that kind of makes me excited it kind of made me excited to watch it and it makes me excited 
for more movies like this that are definitely going to be on this list where it's like i would never have thought to ever watch this because uh, I'm, I don't know, I'm looking forward to like kind of breaking out of my box and maybe seeing some new thing, learning some new things. And this was nice. I can feel my brain and perspective expanding <laughs> after watching this movie. Although it wasn't completely my cup of tea, there were things I appreciated in it. So, you know, Ame Lee, everybody, Ame Lee. She's really cute, by the way. She's absolutely adorable, and I she's very pleasing to the eye. And I, um, you know, it was easy watching her. But until next time, guys, thank you very much for joining me for this uh, number five on my 100 movie bucket list. Until next time, um, I guess thank you guys for watching. Like, sub, share with everybody that you know, and I will see you next time. Yeah, you know what else I thought was really crazy? Like everybody's like in high school, bro. Like everybody is acting. Like they're just in high school with the gossiping and the letter passing and the he said, she said. It's so exhausting. People are like that in real life. That's why. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, GG's.